hey what's up guys today in this video we are going to look at how we can extend our search implementation backend and use it to show search results on the front end now this is not going to be a full fledged autocomplete thing but i just want to show you the basics of how that search will work let's just say when we have this api which we had previously built that post request to something which can show that thing on a react application okay so let's get started and see how these things can be done this is my server side code if you remember previously inside modules search controller and search controller we have this hard-coded data now in this particular case what i'm going to additionally do is Let's just say here I have my database data, right? This quiz data does have some questions. And what I'm thinking, what if I can import this as questions and then show them inside the search results? So I'll just change this to have that word Laravel and now. I'm going to get rid of this code, which is importing the documents, right? This is the hard coded data. So, and instead of that, we will first create an array because we need to send a, an array of documents. Then we will make a loop first. So let I, and we will use this sample data. My export here is quiz sample data. So I'll just use that. Those of you who have you know, followed this series right from the start, I think you will understand what it was doing. Those of you, you know, who are watching only this video, this sample data is actually being used inside my seeders. See, set up seeder, right? I'm using it over here to do a for loop and insert the quiz and the questions for it and that same data i'm going to use it inside my controller so this is my first for loop in this what i'm going to get is constant quiz sample data i i'm going to get the questions out of that sample data and then we'll do one more for loop j less than questions dot length j plus plus from here we will get the questions okay so J and then over here we will have question itself. Let's just quickly console this and see what's happening over here. The basic hygiene check. So I'll come over here. My application is starting, has started, right? Yes, it has. I'll come to this get URL, try it out, execute. And yes, these three questions are coming properly, which is good. Now the only thing now I'll have to do is get that data inside the document. So I'll have an ID. I'll form that ID as I and J. That way it will be unique enough. And then really we will have the question. Okay, so this is my this is my document. This is my for loop. And then what we had done is something which we can again continue to do. We will we have this array, right? So we will do constant response equals uh, this dot search service dot add documents. And we'll get this documents. I think I'll need to do an await. What is it returning? Enqueue task. Okay, it's an enqueue task, so I can just do console dot log response. Let's see what is going to happen. I'll also open up my mainly search UI. So there's no index right now. I had I have deleted the old volume, so uh, things are fine. It's an empty start. I mean, it's a fresh start, right? And I'll do execute. Promise. Okay, I think this will not work. Uh, 
let's put an await over here. A same get search, right? Let's try once more. Gives an error. Okay, my bad. I think the search service is pointing to the wrong thing. Localhost should be the ideal thing to do. And then now if I do this, enqueue, okay. Let's go to the admin interface. Yes, three movies. Now, obviously, I haven't changed the index name, but you get the point, right? So now, if I do that as well, it gives me three items. And if I do, this is a service provider. Yeah. So this is working. Now, let's quickly look at how we can get that same thing inside our React application. So I have this fresh check, uh, fresh application of Next.js where I haven't really done anything as of now. Um, I will try to get a text field over here and show you that how, how we can get that behavior in place. So I'll have an input field. Let's just say this is text. Okay. Uh, we'll have a state variable, so let's just say text set text from use state. This is not from this particular thing, but rather react. We'll also need the use effect. Okay, so use state, we can keep it like this. And let's also have a state variable for results. something like this okay and what I will do is use effect on the text so whenever the text is changing I really wish what to do something over here and let's just see what is going to happen okay I'll do this and in the input field we will have on change event set text We'll do event dot target dot value. Okay, with that done, let's come over here, open up our console. Is it outside? Let me get it inside this frame or rather the window. Refresh. Okay, ASDF. Yes, this is working. So basically, at this point, what I'm going to try to do is um whatever is the result i'll pass it on to the post url and will i'll be expecting a result right um so this is the change right now inside the use effect we are making an ajax call which is going to be an async function now use effect by default doesn't do an async so we will have something like this Okay, so constant response equals await axios host. The HTTP URL for our API is localhost 2001 search. Okay, and what are we expected to pass? Let's go to the controller uh, or maybe the swagger API that also works inside post. We need to pass the text. So over here, it will be text. And yeah, I, I think that, that should be fine because the state variable is also available. And let's see what is coming up, right? Console log response dot data. Await is not allowed, right? This has to be an async. It's that. So now, now let's try and see if we can get the result. So text array hits is null. Now we have one hit and the hit is that we have processing time, zero milliseconds query is SE hit. I have, what is the role of the service provider? What if I do Laravel? L-A-R-L-B. I get all three 
entry so this is fine what i can simply try and do is set results and this additionally i may also do dot hits okay so i will have the array i can do a blank array over here i think that's fine right yeah and then let's just try and show the result so results dot length greater than zero and then results dot map return div so what do we do over here so we have result underscore formatted text something like that e is index so let's get rid of that okay still it shows the result how is that possible i'm just refreshing ah yeah it's an empty array the search result is still coming up and it is empty if text not equals this do that and make this empty what is going to happen now yeah this is fine awesome now can you see immediately i have this results over here you can see the em and if i do just service i get this now let's just quickly try to do one small change react render html i think it was something like unsafe a react render dangerously in a html yes technically no you can do some magic with the babel transformer render and so this becomes like this fair enough i think we can use this although typically we will not be doing this we will have some autocomplete stuff but yeah the main thing is there is an em right and hence we need to get this in place there are what two brackets under that we have html and that html is this result and then i don't need this let's come over here inside our application em is here and so additionally where is my style thing okay. em color is hello oh, what just happened why is it giving an error em is no pure selector must contain at least one local class or id it's a bit strange um, style start dot title dot main style start main hmm this is a bit weird i'm not very sure what is happening let me figure this out so I figured out what is the problem. Let me refresh the page and now come over here. Main, a main, and inside that we'll have em because that's where the tag is coming. And we'll do color red like this and come over here and add the style which is main dot em. I think that will be required. Let me quickly see. Do okay. Now uh, let's get rid of that and try and see right so as you can see now we are able to not only kind of show the search result but also highlight the part which is actually part of it and everything here is happening only because we have the em inside the search results if we would have done something like result dot text right something like that i think we were getting uh, result result response dot data we have hits and let's just pump that again right 
if you if you would have showed this right how to put laravel application in maintenance mode this thing wouldn't have been possible but because of the way melee search gives us the result it becomes so easy for us to do this so as you can see the search becomes very it is very fast uh, it gives you a little bit of ability to hint certain things and yeah that's that's how easy it is to implement the search yeah that's about it guys if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel